Welcome to the brand new episode of Lunch with Doug, a unique and fun experience brought to you by the creative minds at the Music Exerbia Project and Go With Doug. We're here today thanks to the generous support of our esteemed sponsors, and they are as follows. Harry Frog Graphics, your go-to destination for all things graphic at 150 North Commercial in Nevada, Missouri. Reach out to them at 417-381-1077. Karen McNair, your friendly neighborhood nutritionist. Dial 269-267-4644 to learn about the monthly information class or to schedule a personal consultation. Boutique Marketplace, more than 17 vendors, including the second edition Shop Inside, located at 500 East Cherry Street in Nevada, Missouri, at the historic Village Mall property, where currently the Elite Fitness Gym is located. Impact Graphics, Nevada's first full-service Rent Shop, conveniently located at 14144 East Highway 54, right next to Mr. D's. Contact them at 417-283-2056. John's Barbershop, located at 121 West Cherry Street in Nevada, Missouri. Open Tuesday through Friday. Walk-ins only, no appointment needed. American Legion, post number two, located at 402 East Cherry Street, Nevada, Missouri. Newly remodeled with a clean, fresh look gaming machines, and new smoke eaters. Open to the public. Nevada Tobacco and Convenience Store, the store next door, your local store at 125 West Cherry Street, Nevada, Missouri, open seven days a week, now featuring new pinball machines and, of course, the Red Cherry Alley intimate songwriter performance series at 8 p.m. each Friday through September. Thank you for spending your lunchtime with me. I'm your host, Dangerous Doug Harper, and welcome to Lunch with Doug. All right, folks, welcome back to another great episode of Lunch with Doug. I'm your host, Dangerous Doug Harper, and as you know, you were looking at the title of this episode so you know what we're getting ready to talk about. But if you've been paying attention to social media, anything relative, uh, related to this show or any of the projects that I'm involved in. Basically, this is all we've been talking about for the last week and a half, maybe two weeks or so. And even before that, we were plug, plug, plug in it, and there's been one show we talked about it. But it's finally, it's coming up, folks. It's, it is this weekend. It's Saturday, July 27th, folks, at 8 p.m. at the Missouri Recital Hall in good old Nevada, Missouri, which... By the way, you couldn't find Missouri Recital Hall on Google Maps before, but this event has caused so much a stir of a buzz that Missouri Recital Hall is now on Google Maps. So, hey, easy to find it now, folks. It'll point you right in the right direction. One of Nevada's best-kept secrets now is out there, folks. It's out there. And it was out there before. People know about it. Now you really know about it. We're pretty excited about this. Um... I'm pretty excited about this, but I say we're. I mean, uh, A.M. Jameson is excited about it. His people are excited about it. The college is excited about it. This is a win, 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 folks. That's three wins, by the way. No, that's four wins. <laughs> who else is winning? I don't know who else is winning. I do know who's winning. It's you, folks, the people who attend this great show. So don't wait. Um, there's been a lot of talk about get your pre pre-sell tickets, and mainly... Um, because I am, I am the promoter of this. I guess I can probably say that right now. I am the promoter, but it's also a fundraiser for the Red Cherry Alley project. So it's like it's benefiting me, and I'm promoting it. I I don't know how how that happens, but um, so actually, it's benefiting a lot of things. A lot of good things are because we are hosting it at the Coyote College. The uh the facility now available. Um, the college is is um advertising that you can rent the uh, facility for certain or certain rooms in the facility, such as the recital hall. And I was able to lease that room. So there you go. First and foremost, uh, those proceeds go to benefit the college. And then of course we will be generating some ticket sale money and that money, of course the proceeds, the profits from that will go to the, to the uh, red cherry alley project. So we got to get a lot of folks, folks in there to uh to make a dent in what the project that we're working on that I'm working on that's going to be great and uh I've put out a a promise that if we get 100 pre-sales by Friday that we will have the August 10th show with Justin Larkin 
will have that in the alley on the little boardwalk performance area. So that's exciting, folks, because um, at this point we haven't had had a, sh- uh, a true show in the uh, alley. We've had some Red Cherry Alley shows, but they've all been at the tobacco store next door, at the store next door. So I'm pretty excited about that. I really want to make that happen, but we do have to have that extra little oomph, and that's what, that's what we want to do with this. We want to use that extra little oomph from you guys coming to see a great show, fantastic show. A.M. Jameson is awesome, folks. So, uh, and this is the maiden voyage or the inaugural performance with the new band. So, so A.M. Jameson has been performing for a long time, has a record out that came out on CD way back in 2003. Since then, um, writing songs, performing shows, and then um, being a father... Uh, of course, when you're a father, when your kids are little, I had the same thing happen with me. When your kids are really young, there's just that period where you really can't uh, can't be out there doing stuff. You got to be at home a lot with them. And then, but as they get older, then they uh, they're able to tag along a little easier, and and you can get back into that if you're a performing artist. So, so uh, that's what happened with Anthony. Now his kids are grown now, so um, he is back in full action with a new band, folks, and he's working on a new album, um, new T-shirts. I don't know if the new album will be out by Friday. I don't know the ins and outs of that, but I know that they have been recording it, and they'll be performing uh, new songs off of that, as well as some of the uh, popular songs from the first release, but reworked those as a band, so there'll be new versions of those coming out folks so if you were a fan as i was a fan of some of those tunes um from back a few years ago those are coming back fresh arrangements fresh uh instrumentations of those songs so you'll know the tunes you'll be like yes these are tunes now for those i say you'll know the tunes for those of you who've been following me for a long time if you remember the local ear on-air radio show that aired on KESM uh, radio station in El Dorado Springs. It aired for about a year and a half. We had that show every Monday night, 105 minutes of awesomeness, folks. And Anthony was one of our regular artists that we uh, we had music on the show. I'm not sure if we did an interview with him, but I know we played his music a bunch on the show, particularly uh, two of his songs, Fragile being the one that we played the most and so it was just an exciting time and he used to participate in our uh, big fringe jams when that thing was so huge at uh shooters it was back roads then it was shooters i've got that backwards it was shooters then it was back roads but that was a tuesday night jam and he used to come out and perform at that and we used to have man full house on tuesdays it was better than saturday night on tuesday folks and it was really fantastic um, just at a special time for music in our area, and Anthony was a part of that, and that's that's some backstory of why we're really celebrating him as a songwriter in the area because he's been involved a lot of ways for a lot of years, and uh, this is just his really at a time of explosion for his music. So we want to celebrate that. We wanted to do that right, and he wanted to um, to help be a part of the the fundraising and and give a give back to the to the music things that that uh, that I've been doing through the years promotion and and those things. Another cool fact, I'll just jump. Right, I know I'm kind of rattling today, but I'm kind of excited. I get excited before the shows. I hope you're excited as well. And if and if before I tell this next story, this is going to be a great story. That if if you're not punching the pay portal yet, this next story will will do that for you. But I will overview you what the pay portal is. We have a Red Cherry Alley pay portal um, because we don't have a swiper because we're still we're still very grassroots. Uh, Red Cherry Alley is a very grassroots uh, movement for arts. Um, it's a lot of things, and I'm not going to go into all the details because there's a lot of information on the Facebook page, and this is still rolling out like what we're trying to do with this and what it really is. And uh, once it really happens, you're going to really see that. We get those 100 tickets sold. We're going to see that with Justin Larkin. We're going to see the vision. Even without the stage, we're going to build a stage in there. It's part of the plan. But the stage is not um, 
it's not there yet. We're still fundraising on the funds for the stage, uh, the sound system, and the, you know, we want some some picnic tables and stuff like that. And I know it sounds like picnic tables. Oh, it's just picnic tables. But you get a bunch of them and it adds up. It's a, it's a significant cost, all these things put together. So we're, we're squaring up on the property soon. Um, the property will be... Um, you know, taken care of, then we can then we can add the next thing, which we'll be building the stage. But in the meantime, there is a boardwalk performance area already there. So uh, we're going to use the boardwalk for something different. After the stage gets built, it'll be kind of the backstage area. But right now, we can use the boardwalk performance area. And we'll do that if we get 100 pre-sale tickets, 100 ticket sales for the Anthony Jameson show, the AM Jameson, and the Alpha Wave elixir band 100 tickets for that should be very easy because we're having it at one of the best sounding venues in the area and i i will attest to this folks i have i was in a touring band and i played uh 30 i was in 38 states in america and and this room is one of my favorite one of the best sounding rooms both the rooms at cotty college they just went above and beyond when they were designing that to make them so acoustically perfect. They're just wonderful, wonderful sounding rooms. With nothing, just the room sounds great. So then you put some music or some sound in it, and it just sounds fantastic. You just don't have to do a whole lot with what's happening on stage. Um, of course, you have to mic it. Of course, you have to mix it, these things, but you just bare minimum of stuff that you have to do for this just to sound fantastic folks it's a great room and i'm very excited uh, a couple weeks ago we had the songwriter um bowl the mega bowl and i got to play at that i have played in the room before but i got to play at the songwriter bowl and uh, it was phenomenal the sound was great i just loved it the vibe then i saw the video of it um and uh, or one video and it was just from somebody's phone it wasn't nothing fancy I just saw a phone video of it, and I was like, what? The room sounds fantastic. It might not actually wasn't my performance, but it was someone else performing. But it was just a magnet, magnetic uh, room with great sound. It was awesome. I can't express it enough. So the pay portal, folks, we don't have the swiper at the door. So if you're paying with your card, you can do that. But it will be, and, and we could do it at the door, but really you do it on your own phone. So if you're going to do it at the door, do it in your car on the way in because the roof is metal on that building. So a lot of times um, my phone, I have I have struggles getting internet from my data on my phone once I get in the room. So do it before you come in. I'm going to put some QR codes up, but I'm going to tell you the link. It's very easy. There's an easy way. Um, well, if you go to Red Cherry Alley's Facebook page and the website link, that'll get you to the pay portal. And it gives you the options and it's all spelled out for you. But there is just a generic way you can just put in your t- your amount of money, put in your and then in the notes, put your name and what you're buying, and that is pay.redcherryalley.com. So easy, you can do that on your phone. Just put it in your browser on your phone. Um, and easy peasy. Click it in there. Put your ten dollars in. Put ten dollars and click. And then when you come in, just show us that you purchased it. But uh, in between now and then, we'll have a name list. If you put your name in the notes, of course, we're going to have that list of names on there. So we're going to know you're on the list. Give you your ticket slash. It's a ticket and a um, program. It's all on one piece of paper. We're saving some trees, folks. We're doing a number of good things with this deal. Saving trees, man. Um, Because we put it all on one piece of paper. And most of the paper is synthetic, so it's not even trees anyway. So we're really, really kicking some butt environmentally and still having paper because a lot of people still want the paper programs so we're able to do that and still kick back some savings to our environment i mean folks we've got a handle on this it's a good thing it's a good thing pay portal pay.redcherryalley.com will get you to the pay portal it's very simple you put in your the amount you want to spend, you put in the notes what you're buying, make sure to mention your name in there, put your credit card information in, and s- click go. And you're in. I think you got to put your email in there too probably so it can email your receipt. 
Easy peasy. It's powered by GoDaddy, a very trusted uh, company out there in the internet world. Everybody knows GoDaddy. If you don't, GoDaddy is one of the number one providers of websites uh, in the world, I think. Maybe, if not the world, just America. But they're a big company. And they're awesome. And their pay portal feature is really cool. And then a lot of people are using the pay portal in small businesses. In fact, some of the very sponsors of this show use pay portal with GoDaddy. So... Uh, if you're in business, you may already have a, a pay portal. Now, there is a cool device that you can get. And again, we're grassroots. We just don't have that device yet. And I kind of uh, an oversight on my part. But again, I thought, hey, we'll get the pre-sales in. Everybody will buy their pre-sales before because we want to see Justin play August 10th in the alley. Now, sweeten the deal, folks. Um, if you get, if you pay 20 bucks instead of 10 you're buying the ticket to Justin and you're buying the ticket to A.M. Jameson. But we're going to throw in all of the rest of, they go all the way through uh, August 20, it must be August 23rd. Yeah, their August 23rd is the uh, Red Cherry Alley mini stage shows that's at the uh, Tobacco, Nevada Tobacco Store on the square. We're going to throw those in. Uh, those are $5 each donation. We're going to throw all those in. You're going to get a pass for everything Red Cherry Alley for the end of the summer this season or whatever this season is. I know it's not maybe officially season one, but it's kind of, it's like point half or something. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. That's a long story. I'm getting long winded folks. Uh, I'm, I'm into this thing. I hope you're still with me. Go to the show, folks. That's where I'm at. Go to the show. Anthony Jameson this weekend. But spring for the $20 deal. Get all the shows. Go to all the shows. And then we're going to have, we'll have a a September 7th show also, but that was going to be free anyway. So we're going to tell you more about that. I don't want to overload you, but there's a lot of great things coming up. And it's all going to be unfolded at the Red Cherry Alley Facebook page. That's where we like to talk the most. We do have an Instagram as well, but... The best place to get the information is at the Facebook page. That's better than our website, too. The website, we built a website, but it's uh, just the generic site we built when we started the project. And uh, so I have to admit, the best place to get information is that Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Red Cherry Alley. That'll have our website on there is the link to the pay portal. Easy peasy. And it's the good pay portal that's specific for this it, this deal I'm rolling out, specially tailored, it says, click the one you want and all that stuff. But if you can't, it's got a whole bunch of numbers after it. It's a long web thing. So I, without a QR code or a, um, you know, showing it on the screen, I can't tell you that. But the simplified version is pay.redcherryalley.com. Just go there, throw in the amount of money. It will work itself out, folks. It is very easy. Put your name, put what you're buying, and the amount you're spending. And if you just decide, excuse me, if you should decide you want to donate more, like you're feeling really generous, put in whatever amount you want. It's a donation, folks. We appreciate it. I appreciate it. Every All the musicians that are wanting to come here, we've literally had over 100 musicians. They're super excited about this venue. Why are they super excited about Red Cherry Alley? Why? Because we are going to showcase their creations. The new music is going to come out. This is the place. There's very few venues promoting the new music that's coming out. The independent artists, the ones that are just slipping through the cracks. These are great, fantastic artists, folks, with fantastic songs. There are so many of them. They're right here in our backyard, a lot of them, but sometimes they're touring through. We had a call from a New York artist the other day. We've had calls from Nashville artists. We've had calls from California artists already hearing about Red Cherry Alley wanting to make a stop because Nevada, Missouri, quite frankly, is in a very good location in between some major metro areas where it would be a great pass-through spot, a great day-before-show Night before show, great place to land, have a show in between. We're a good spot for that, folks, and Red Cherry Alley's going to pick up that slack. And we're going to do that with your support with those 100 pre-sale tickets that you're going to be buying. I know you're going to be doing it or donating the money to. Well, let's get it done, folks. Pay.redcherryalley.com. In the description of this uh, podcast at the bottom somewhere, I will put the official link that gets you to the fancier version that has all the stuff spelled out for you. But if you can't find that or can't get to that, pay.redcherryalley.com 
If you bring cash out, we will have cash. You can, we'll take cash at the door. Uh, we'll help you do the pay portal at the door if we need to, if you have card. I'm just saying we don't have the swiper, so we want to get everybody in easy, quickly, because um, we're going to open doors at 730. And the show starts at 8, so we got a 30-minute window to get 148 people seated, folks. And we are anticipating sellout. I know that uh, we were talking about the pre-sales. We were really pushing that because we haven't had a lot of pre-sales in just yet. But I haven't checked today, so it could be full. I don't know. It could be sold out. I know I saw 12 shares earlier today, so people were getting excited. They were seeing. Uh, then we got featured on uh, 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 that internet TV show. Uh, mentioned on there, and Anthony came with me to the On the Scene TV show. So we've been having two internet TV shows, been talking about it. Uh, we sent out a massive amount of press releases. Things are just really escalating, folks. And this is August is going to be unforgettable, folks, um, with the Red Cherry Alley show that I know you guys are going to make happen August 10th with Justin Larkin. Now, if we do not sell 100 pre sales by Friday, we are still having the Justin Larkin show we're just going to have it on the mini stage in the tobacco store which will be it will be fantastic folks but it's not as awesome as outside under the stars a true to the word concert at dusk series at dusk series like we originally intended and like next year's going to be happening we want to have it folks and we want to do it this year but we can only do it with your support pay.redcherryalley.com Thanks for spending your lunch time with me. I'm Dangerous Doug Harper. We'll see you soon. Thanks to the generous support of our esteemed sponsors, and they are as follows. Harry Frog Graphics, your go-to destination for all things graphic at 150 North Commercial in Nevada, Missouri. Reach out to them at 417-381-1077. Karen McNair, your friendly neighborhood nutritionist. Dial 269-267-4644 to learn about the monthly information class or to schedule a personal consultation. Boutique Marketplace, more than 17 vendors, including the second edition Shop Inside, located at 500 East Cherry Street in Nevada, Missouri, at the historic Village Mall property, where currently the Elite Fitness Gym is located. Impact Graphics, Nevada's first full-service print shop, conveniently located at 14144 East Highway 54, right next to Mr. D's. Contact them at 417-283-2056. John's Barbershop, located at 121 West Cherry Street in Nevada, Missouri. Open Tuesday through Friday. Walk-ins only. No appointment needed. American Legion, post number two, located at 402 East Cherry Street in Nevada, Missouri. Newly remodeled with a clean, fresh look, gaming machines, and new smoke eaters. Open to the public. Nevada Tobacco and Convenience Store, the store next door, your local store at 125 West Cherry Street, Nevada, Missouri, open seven days a week, now featuring new pinball machines and, of course, the Red Cherry Alley intimate songwriter performance series at 8 p.m. each Friday through September.